the most difficult lessons for any new race car driver is to actually learn how to race, especially in heavy traffic, without damaging their car. Pilots call it situational awareness, knowing what's going on 360 degrees around them and still being able to control their airplane at the limit. Well, in this segment, we're going to hear from some of the top drivers in one of the USA's most challenging series, the Pirelli World Challenge, on how to do just that. Any kind of uh, sports car racing, whether it's in the US or, or over in Europe, you're going to find that there's going to be varying classes. And so you have to learn how to manage with traffic and earn the respect of the other drivers. If you don't, you're going to find yourself in the detention office a lot with a series of officials, and it's just not a pleasant experience. Experience has a lot to do with it. The more you're out there, the more comfortable you get with other cars around you, slower cars around you, faster cars. It's really when you're in the middle category that you really learn track awareness. You almost have to have a Goodyear blimp type view to see how everything is going to work out. Uh, situational awareness is incredibly important. You know, one little issue here or there can, can cost you a race. So you have to be on point, um, you have to plan ahead, and you have to, you know, just stay on top of it. Absolutely. And it's the responsibility of every driver to know what's going on around him at all times, which means constantly, it's like they teach you as a pilot to scan your gauges on a regular basis, to always be aware of things that are going on around you. In a race car, it's exactly the same. Some people have it, some people don't, and you have to learn it, but uh, definitely helps out there on track to know that there's a car next to you and not have to stare at the car next to you. So you're not looking in your mirror and then all of a sudden you're, not, you're missing your braking point and you're hitting the car in front of you, so. Having good peripheral vision is very key so that you don't actually have to be turning your head to look at a mirror to take your eyes off the road. I mean, checking your mirror on the straightaway, knowing, okay, well that car is behind me. If you don't see any flashes in your mirror, focus on what's ahead. Usually every time that I turn into a turn, I'll just glance over at my uh, inside mirror just to make sure there's not a car sliding up the inside of me or a car uh, trying to make a move on me right there. You know, you're not sitting there pondering your mirrors, but you're scanning them, you know? If you're in a slower class and you've got cars coming, you don't want to know about that car when he arrives. You want to see him coming. You want to time the pass. You want to anticipate when he's going to arrive. He's watching you, you're watching him. So you can make this really easy and you dance and the dance works really well, or you can look in your mirror and go, oh, where did he come from? And that's when the accident usually happens. Every one of your senses is in, in play, you know, when you have this situational awareness around you. You know, it all comes at you slow if you're thinking ahead of where you're at at the time. Your internal math, as in if I come off a corner very well, I do a good job, I know the, the odds are pretty good that that guy behind me won't be able to take a run on me. But if I come off not so well, then I think his opportunity is going to be greater. You know, we're all driving really hard. I, I think your good drivers just have, you know, an awareness. Absolutely, yeah. You know, we're, we've got a lot of different types of cars. So our Kia Optima front wheel drive, uh, racing rear wheel drive cars, you know, lots of different varieties. You have different handling characteristics and to understand that um, takes a little bit of time. It, it kind of worked on me a little bit. In the first race, um, I was a bit maybe more cautious just not understanding, you know, some cars are gonna brake later than you, some cars are gonna accelerate earlier than you. So, you know, we're always, always thinking about where we can capitalize with our advantage and, and where some of the other cars may not have that same advantage. You have to understand early on that you're racing whoever you're racing with and you need to concentrate on that, whether the guy's behind you or in front of you, you have to race the people you're around. Your mind has to stay completely focused and then, you know, that's it. You, you, can, you can't worry about whether you're driving for 31st or 15th place, you have to focus on what you're doing in that particular location. If you've never run at this level, um, you don't know really what you're up against. And I think a lot of young drivers maybe make the mistake of, that a lot of young drivers make that is being impatient and over aggressive. Because the one thing you don't want to do, and you really don't want to do this, if you get a reputation as a car crasher or a, a guy who's hard on equipment, tears equipment up, that's the best way to kill your career right there. I can tell you that right now, number one way.